off. This is Dan with Team Elmerville showing off 35100 State Route 2. Set in the rural setting a couple miles past the town of Davenport. The structures you're seeing will show up at the end. There are quite a bit of structures on this property. Uh, and a lot of this uh, property has some good potential, but it does need a lot of work. So I'm going to try and explain everything I'm seeing out here so that if you're not, that way to narrow down your interest level if this is just too much work. Because uh, there's quite a bit that needs to be done on just about everything here. Uh, as far as exterior uh, retaining wall goes, just on this perimeter piece, it kind of sits on a hill. Uh, there's a bit of cracking there in that rock wall foundation and a little bit of separation of the wall, but structurally it still seems to be in okay shape. Actually, we'll go into the foundation at the end uh, on this is the back side of the house here. We'll go into the foundation at the end and, and the, it's pretty clean. Uh, so really structurally the house seems to be pretty good shape, but get an inspection if you're concerned with that. Uh, one thing I'm noticing back here is this pipe goes down and out into this kind of marshy uh, area which actually flows pretty aggressively in the spring. Uh, it's all dried up now, but uh, there was active water running through this, uh, the back of this property uh, with what looks to be some sort of a pipe coming out. Uh, hopefully not septic, but I don't I don't know. I'm guessing there's some drain filled and some septic issues that are going to need to be addressed. Uh, looking back in, there's the uh, bladder and the well pump. And we are unaware of the condition of that. So I'll show you the um, basement in a bit. A bit of cracking around this window. Uh, pretty large, about a finger's length. Um, and it seems to be kind of just a. I mean, it's. I don't. I don't know if this is the foundation before the foundation. It kind of looks like it is. Yeah. See, because you can see in here that actual concrete is. Um, in really good shape. So this is kind of just an older pour here. And then that retaining wall going around the side with kind of a rickety fence. And this lean-to awning needs a lot of help. We're gonna go uh, actually back around the other way because I can't really get through back here. But you can see the metal siding is in okay shape. Needs some paint. Uh, I've got some older windows with their double pane vinyl. Or, sorry, double pane aluminum windows. Uh, you can see there's a gutter missing and some metal siding that's missing there. The roof's in poor shape. It's got a couple layers and uh, it's just kind of falling apart. So the roof does need to be replaced on this house. All right, continuing on around. Take you up to the front of the front door. I guess this would be a, technically the side door. There's two entrances to the main level. Some old growth trees here, older growth trees. Uh, so this is the front door. The concrete pad is leaning at an angle there. So it's sunk a little bit, uh, actually quite a bit. Showing off some of the siding here. So all that metal siding is actually in pretty good shape. The siding is, other than it being, needing some paint. Swing around the side here. And you can see that roofing, uh, that small tier there needs to be replaced along with, there's some patches, uh, active leak in the roof uh, at this time. Swinging around the side of the house. I'll do a pan up towards the top from this angle. So you can see all that. And the large shrub here kind of covering the house. Um, this technically, I guess, would be your front door. You got a fence that's leaning a little bit here. A little bit of a dead tree there. And then that roofing needing to be replaced. Heading up to the front door, angering some birds. 
This is the entrance. This is concrete, just a carpeting over concrete. And the front door is weathered. It doesn't close super well, so we have it padlocked uh, right now to protect uh, the house. Older light fixture. Metal siding here, still in pretty good shape. Swing around the back. A little shed there too. And it just needs some paint, but otherwise I think it's in roofing of it. it looks like it's a little weathered, but kind of a basic shed there for storage of yard equipment. Okay. See the siding there, get some chipping paint on the window. And uh, it's like a double pane window. Older one, but still double pane. Uh, chimney stack, not in terrible shape, but I do notice at the top uh, there is some, uh, looks like just a piece of the brick is coming apart there. So, so it's weathered a little bit just at the very top. Uh, a couple little chunks out of the side here, but it doesn't look like structurally it's causing any issues. Do another pan from this angle. That's just kind of a wood storage chute that you can get access to your wood inside of the, for the fireplace. Uh, which obviously, just like the rest of the roofing on this, uh, it is in poor condition. So you can see this, this is kind of just a, a container for wood. So not structural to the house. Uh, this lean-to is in really bad condition. Um, the foundation of it and the way it's attached is it's not right. It needs to be removed or replaced. And it's falling apart. It's not structurally sound. Um, but it is just kind of an addition, so it's not... Not something that would be hard to remove. Uh, here's siding again. Working our way up and then another angle of the roof there. show you underneath. We might be able to revive this lean-to, but the foundation of it is just in poor condition. The slider, it looks like it had been replaced not too long ago. It's vinyl, double pane, so it's in okay shape. We'll swing around, uh, show you off inside, and then uh, take you around all the outbuildings too. We'll go in, we'll go inside the, the side door, which is our access point right now. Beautiful views though, man, I gotta tell you. There's only a couple neighbors and the rest of it's just fields, so. It's real private in that regard. You really only had the one neighbor facing at you. And he's a little ways off. Okay, going inside door, it's gonna enter us in at the laundry area, laundry room, kind of bonus laundry room area. There's an additional little room here. And it's vinyl and, you know, paneling and older light fixtures and the paint you know, it needs paint. It's got these old uh, light covers. Um, it's also two prong electrical there. So that's older. May need some electrical updates. Uh, older units on the uh, wall heat and some very old light fixtures, we'll say. Uh, like I said, double pane vinyl, or double pane Aluminum windows here inside. Some of them have been replaced. And this is uh, entering from laundry room to kitchen. Got some wallpaper there and uh, some oak cabinets. Uh, appliances are okay. They may be able to be cleaned up, but they're pretty stained. Let's the refrigerator. Dishwasher is very old. Flooring vinyl uh, would update that and the countertops and just the cabinets and, and the fixtures in general are, are very dated, stained, um, and you're just gonna need to factor in a replacement of this stuff. Uh, old light fixtures, wallpaper that needs to be removed and painted. Uh, entering in, that's most of it for the kitchen. Uh, entering into the dining room, formal dining room, you'll notice uh, we have electric baseboard heat for our heat source. Um, we have these green carpets that I would recommend replacing. 
and old light fixture, wallpaper. Some nice woodwork here on the trim. I definitely would keep that it's still in really good shape. Got the kind of the popcorn style ceiling there throughout uh, this floor, this level. Some paneling there. Uh, but really some, some nice old heavy doors that are still in pretty good shape in that, that uh, dark maho like mahogany style wood. It's uh, pretty, actually pretty nice. It slides, still slides pretty well. Okay, um, and dining room's pretty big. The living room's huge. Some built-in cabinets there, which are pretty cool. Like got those old lead, lead based windows. Um, so that natural woodwork is still in pretty good shape. We do have some issues in here. Uh, I'm gonna show you that. Some staining obviously on the floor, subfloor. Um, but this is one of our biggest problems we have. I don't know how extensive, if you start digging into walls, how extensive the uh, moisture is in here. Uh, but you'll see from coming from that roofing, leaking roofing, uh, it has been, um, at least for a little while, has been building up. So there's some discoloration in this house that needs to be addressed. Uh, and you'll see that in the ceiling in the living room. And it's all moisture from the roof. I, to my knowledge, there's not a plumbing leak, but uh, there definitely is some roof leaking. Fireplace uh, mantle seems to be in really good shape. So nothing really needed there. Show off that. And then that's, this is the other side where you get that wood from the box on the exterior. Okay, huge living room. Nice uh, living space. Uh, moving through, you have master bedroom and it's essentially a master bath. They're, they are just connected through the hall. Um, and the bathroom needs a full remodel. It's got carpets, old uh, tile, dated everything. Uh, there's some peeling paint there at the top and some sort of a roughed in patch. Just a lot of tile needing to be removed, toilets being updated, uh, your surround, really this bathroom needs to be gutted. And moving into the master bedroom. Nice woodwork in here, it's in good shape. Floor needs to be replaced, light fixture. Uh, or baseboard heater. I just have this really big walk-in closet, which is nice and in good shape. So master doesn't need a lot of work, just kind of the basics here. Um, still seeing a lot of this two-prong electrical. So factor in some electrical into your rehab. All right, uh, other three bedrooms are upstairs. We'll go up there real quick. Uh, this is heading up the hallway. Some lath and plaster on the walls. You can see someone's trying to patch it. It never really looks good when you patch lath and plaster. Uh, this is the hallway leading to the bedrooms upstairs. Uh, banister, a little bit of wear there, but it's in good shape. It's pretty sturdy wood. Uh, and all that natural trim around this house is actually in pretty good shape. So here we have a bedroom. Technically no, no legal closet in here. Um, flooring, there's a hole there, um, like to the addition. And there's some stained uh, flooring. And the uh, light fixture is damaged here. Moving through to the next bedroom. We have some staining here for sure. Um, some cracking in the lath and plaster in the ceiling. Trim's in okay shape. Doors are in decent condition. Needs some paint. Some weathering from uh, sun exposure on the sill. And you can see some of the roofing out there uh, need to be replaced. Uh, and I know there was a leak in here. So this darker room, there's a leak uh, right there. Um, we have put a tarp on it. Uh, but there's likely some subfloor that may be warped in this area. Factor that into your budget for your rehab. This is just kind of access to some storage here. And this, this side of the house is in okay shape, um, obviously unfinished. 
Uh, moving into our, this would be our second bedroom. The other one didn't count because they have a closet. Um, older carpets, pink platinum plaster is breaking apart severely here. Uh, okay, well, there you go. So that's just, and it's bowing out and I don't know if that's from the moisture event or if that's just because someone kicked in, now it's getting worse. But you're gonna need to pull that, do some drywall, uh, and replace it. And we have some uh, stained carpets, pretty severely stained carpets here. Um, maybe some discoloration, I'm not sure what that, uh, the color of that being black, uh, if that is uh, from the roof or not. A little closet. And our third bedroom, there is a little crawl here. I've been up there, actually is in pretty good shape, not too bad. This is just roughed in, this room, I'm not gonna go upstairs in this video. Uh, this room here is completely just roughed in, but um, appeared to be hardwood floors. Yeah, they are. Uh, someone was going going for a remodel and just kind of just didn't finish. So it's got some roughed in drywall, some framed in closets, but really it's just, it needs to all be drywalled in. There's one of the older doors there that remains and a closet. All just kind of roughed in, but, but looks like it was done decently. It could be salvaged and turned into a nice bedroom. All right, well, that's the upstairs where most of the bedrooms lie. Uh, we'll head down to the basement, show that off. I've got my trusty headlamp because we don't have power right now or water. No power or no water. We don't know if they work. That's just... Something you're gonna to need to factor is likely some plumbing, some electrical, all the, all the kind of some of the big ticket items you're gonna to need to pay attention to. Um, so we're going out the side door, gonna head down into that basement access, crawl access place. Got my headlamp on here. Turn that on and go inside. So it's kind of an entrance before the entrance. Just uh, kind of roughed in here, this door, outer door, and a concrete pad. And that's walking, turn my light on. This is walking in from the uh, exterior. I want to say I was pretty surprised. This concrete underneath here is, I mean, it's nice and clean. There's no moisture. Someone put a shower of some sort in here at some point. Uh, but not not a lot of cracking at all down here. They had some sort of old furnace and I think that's been phased out for the electrical heat. Uh, we've got some, some piping here. Someone updated the electrical panels uh, and uh, it looks like an older electric hot water heater. But everything down here, concrete-wise, in pretty good shape. Um, super well insulated down here. Uh, so someone spent someone spent some time kind of getting down in here and updating stuff. I don't see any major red red flags down here. Supports are all pretty sturdy. on this side of the house. So yeah, I give the basement a big thumbs up for sure. Someone did a good job in here. All right, I'm gonna, work. That's, that's the house, that's the house condition report. We're gonna move to the next structure. All right, we're at the closest structure to the house and this is like a two car garage. Uh, exterior wise, metal siding. Doors are older, need to be replaced. There's some paint that's weathered. I need to factor some paint. The roof is in poor condition. It needs a new roof. It's calm. Hanging around the side. Does have some older um, single pane windows. But uh, we'll go inside. It's actually built, built pretty well. So this one should be able to be revived and uh, make a nice two car garage. 
see here, it's pan around this side for you guys. Just to get a look and I'll show you the roof here. Okay. Yeah, you can't, can't tell too much, but that roof is, that roof needs some work. side man door. It's an old, old door. Uh, it's not in the best condition. It's just really old. Okay, we're inside. Kind of your standard trusses in here. But it's nice and square. It's not feeling leaning or any, you know, it's not leaning a lot or anything like that. So someone poured this foundation and they did a good job making it level. Uh, you can see plenty of holes and open. <laughs> so water can just go right into this garage at this point. Um, so you're seeing some of that uh, weathered sheathing, which you're gonna need to, you're likely just gonna need to replace or board over it. Uh, so that's the garage. I'll show you the next structure here in a second. All right, we're panning at the next structure up the just up the road, uh, toward, heading towards kind of the end of the parcel uh, where the quan sets the last of the parcel. And actually, the tractor and that uh, that other structure back there are not included in this property. It's the neighbor's parcel up there. Uh, roof on this is completely toast. Uh, siding is kind of just patched in. This is a really old structure. Uh, not exactly sure when it was built, but you'll tell uh, just by looking at it that. It's kind of wild, it's kind of cool. It's, you know, some of this foundation is earth to wood and eroding. Uh, the windows are kind of falling apart. Um, I'll get you inside to take a look and you can be the judge of that, but a little bit of a low slope roof, um, not super tall. And it does have some sort of, they had a block construction, which Uh, take you inside. It's nice and spacious. It does have a concrete floor to let it remember. Yeah. So there's some concrete pad. Uh, winds have been high out here lately, so I blew in the garage door. And let's see. Someone put this in recently, but there's some wires hanging. Uh, I'm not, I'm, I'm assuming there's going to need some work done on the panel. I'm not an electrician. All right, we're moving through. You can see um, straight through and back. It's a long, nice, it's big, it's a big structure. And it's probably, you know, 2,000 square feet, maybe a little less, but it's, it's pretty big. Um, that eroding rock um, foundation there. Yeah, these windows to let in light. And you can see there's been a moisture event at some point, probably from the roof. There's no water ran out here to my knowledge, um, but it has a lot of electrical. So I want to spend some time updating this at some point. Oh, there is plumbing. I don't know if it works. I doubt it works. A 220 there. A garage door was attached in an okay shape, but it looks like it's been dented, dinged, and uh, maybe possibly damaged uh, with the winds. We'll get that put back on, hopefully. Kind of an interesting structure. And that's what we've got for this one. I'll show you. One of my favorite structures, the Quonset, next. Okay, here she is, the Quonset. It's huge, like an airport hangar, man. Uh, the only thing I've really noticed with this big structure, uh, pretty hard to beat this thing up because it's just massive steel uh, structure, but the door is kind of just hanging by a thread and they are missing. So you're gonna need to get new doors if you're, if that's what you, know, that's what you want to roll a structure enclosed. 
electrical is not intact. It needs to be re re ran. Uh, they are. They do have these like ceiling light. Um, it's holes in the top that let in light and some of them are missing. So if you want this to um, not leak um, or be airtight, you're gonna need to close those in. And there, it's just, there's no concrete pad. It's, it's poured around the edges and it's been installed, but these beams are massive. So, whole way up, super tall. That door's intact, but not in great shape. Uh, like I said, the winds kind of tear things apart out here uh, in the flatlands. So we have some, you can see some light coming through and it looks like you could maybe just patch that, but for sizing purposes about, you know, about the size of my hand there. Uh, a couple of those throughout, um, you can just see a few things that come flying into the side of the metal structure and hit it pretty good. Uh, so there's some patches that need to be done on the exterior if you want to close it down or if you want to get this thing nice and tight. I'll swing it around the uh, other side and the exterior of the Quonset. And the electrical, nothing to break home about. <laughs> the birds seem to like it and it's, it's completely needs to be redone. It hasn't been used in years pan out the back side here. That structure is not included in this house. This is, anything past this quant set is the neighbor's parcels. But a nice big storage for this house. All right, we'll take you over to the barn and then the final structure. All right, we're at the barn. It's huge. It does have an upper area, but uh, since the roof is in poor condition, seen a lot of water over the years and uh, there is a lot of rotting on the interior uh, you can see that roof is just torn apart the winds out here not very friendly to that style of roofing um, siding on this side is in okay shape but you can see the it must have been updated at some point because uh, this is not in such great shape the uh, window coverings and some are missing here and then even up to the peak of the roof was, is like completely torn off. Um, I think it can be revived. It's gonna take some work. Some older windows, chipping paint. And I'm just gonna peek inside. I mean, I, I think I've shown you guys enough. If, if you're, if, if this is a, a project you're interested in, there are a lot of really cool structures that can be revived, revived in this house, but it's gonna take some time and a vision. Uh, you'll see the door here is ripped off, kind of just leaning, um, and the electrical mass is hanging by a thread. Um, let's see. I think I can enter in over here. So from uh, a good portion of this, is, including that structure, is also on this property. So this includes uh, kind of this corralled area that's in rough shape, but good land for cattle or other livestock. Um, this does have the middle siding on the back. It's in better condition than the front, um, but the doors are missing. Peek inside. And that window covering is completely missing. You can see up in there just how much light's coming through, how much roofing's actually missing. Uh, this was set up, I think, for dairy cows, cattle. So they had their stalls and their uh, stations, their stalls, so you can go and milk the cows through here, which is, at yeah, one time, it must have been pretty cool. But a lot of this wood is, some of it's in good shape, others of it, not so much. I can't, I'm not going to go up there. Uh, there's a whole second floor and like a loft area and the ceilings are just massive. Um, this is a pretty cool structure. I think put, put some time into this uh, barn. It would be really cool. Um, show off some of those views. Just, just sprawling flat land, scab land, but pretty cool, pretty calm out here. Uh, definitely feels like the country. 
All right, we'll show off this last structure and that will be it. If you're interested in seeing this house, uh, give us a call, 509-62-HOUSE. We'll be glad to show it to you. That's 509-62-HOUSE. All right, we're approaching the final structure. It's an older barn. It's a pretty poor shape. But, makes for some storage. Uh, looks like someone put a metal roof on it. It's uh, peeling apart in spots. The siding material is pretty weathered. Uh, this door is broken and missing. Um, there is a, like kind of an internal area here. The truss works pretty tight, so structurally, I don't think it's falling anytime soon, but uh, it is leaning in spots. Uh, it does not have a poured concrete foundation of any sort. Kind of a wood structure in the middle here for storage. You can see um, this is kind of skip sheeted here. I'm thinking this one could be revived, but like I said, it's leaning a little funky in spaces. Uh, so I just want to make sure you guys know that. And uh, some of that siding is just hanging off by a thread. The roofing looks okay. Uh, that's the final structure. Nice, cool piece of property, no one behind you. Seasonal creek running through the back. Uh, lots of cool wildlife and stuff out here. So, yeah, it's got a lot going for it. Needs some TLC. Uh, if you guys are interested again, give us a call. 509 62 house.